could do is cry. Hey, cry, cry. Good morning, y'all. How is everybody doing? I am Tiff. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit your situation. If you would like a personal, all that information is down in the description box, y'all. I never reach out to you for a personal. You have to reach out to me, okay? It keeps you guys from getting scammed, rammed, whatever it is, okay? Let's get right into this, spirit, ancestors, and guides. So, what is this energy that I'm feeling, y'all? cry like somebody could just be in that energy where this just like damn kind of moody just kind of feeling sensitive okay movies that normally don't make you cry could be having you crying a little bit you know wow four stories that Etta James song see what I thought was interesting this morning yeah somebody's got their guards up in this soulmate energy okay so because when I'm doing the pre-shuffle y'all know my energy comes from music so first it was Cry to Me and it was the remix by Mark Broussard, you know. When your baby leaves you all alone, cry to me, doom. you know, that song. So sticking out to me. Then my Nana, who is one of my spirit guides, she loved Patsy Klein, And for some reason, Walking After Midnight came on. And I was like, what the fuck? That's my Nana shit. And the part where, you know, I stopped to see a weeping willow. Crying on his pillow. Maybe he's crying for me. You know, like that's sticking out to me. Maybe, you know, he's crying out for me. Somebody could be hoping. And I think that's what's going on. I feel like both of you guys are kind of in this emotional energy. And it's drawing off of one another, okay? And then, of course, after that, motherfucking Etta comes in with a damn. With her empress energy, you know? And that's the song that I posted, you know. I'm losing the man that I love and all I could do was cry. And she pretty much tells the story of how she's... It's almost like she's at the wedding and she's watching the person she's in love with marry somebody else and move on in life. And it's like she's saying their life is just beginning, you know. And mine is pretty much like crumbling. All I could do was cry. So I'm just feeling like there's a lot of energy right now that's just kind of like... Not saying somebody's over here just crying like a little old bitch 24-7. But there's some kind of energy where somebody's just feeling a little, like, sensitive, okay? Like, moody maybe? I don't know. But I want to know what's going on in this connection to have this energy like this right now. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's see. Shut the hell up, Tiffy. Whoa, child. Whoa, child. <laughs> wee What else done flip? Whoa, wee Okay, spirit, ancestors, and guys, what you don't see coming, though, at the bottom of the deck is definitely success, happiness, you know, good things definitely coming. Let's see, though, because we have, woo, this three of swords, and everybody knows what this three of swords means. If you watch tarot, if you watch tarot a lot, we know what this three of swords is, right? That's heartbreak, that's sadness, that's a third-party situation. And spirit is bringing this right out. I don't know. It's almost like somebody was in love with somebody. And maybe, you know, now they're jumping into marrying somebody. They're engaged to somebody. Maybe they're in another relationship with somebody, okay? But this spread gets better, okay? So there is a lot of heartbreak. There is a lot of sadness behind a third-party situation. And I feel like that's where this cry comes in, you know? All I can do is cry. Mm, mm, mm. I love this though I'm hearing the verse in my head y'all I'm sorry I'm in a great mood hope everybody else is too we got the devil starting off this friend okay overall energy is this three of swords though but this devil, okay, okay, this devil is beginning to spread. This is somebody that maybe chose a financial situation. This person was very lustful. This person might have chose a financial situation over a true love situation. And this person might try to still treat you as like a sexual, like try to still have sex with you, try to still have this open sexual chemistry with you this way they feel like you're not leaving anywhere they still have you and then they still have this other situation that they're holding on to 
for financial gain. They could have chose this, chosen this situation over you and tried to use you like a sexual, like, like a, like the side piece, like, um, uh, like this person wanted you to be, I'm almost feeling like this person wanted you to okay, to be okay with, and, and this is even if you was dating them first and they went on to this relationship for whatever this situation is for financial gain. It's almost like they wanted you to be okay being the side chick or being because of what they had involved in this situation like whatever they had invested or whatever they were gaining out of that situ situation or whatever it's almost like this person would like tell you that they love you but whatever was going on in this situation and it's like so they're cho choosing another relationship for finances but trying to keep that sexual energy open with you even though there's a deeper connection here, that shit ain't gonna work, okay? It just didn't work. I feel like somebody might have been like, fuck no, I'm not, you know, it might have, and I ain't gonna lie, I feel like somebody might have, like, still fucked with this person for a little bit, but then it was like, you know what, no, you got me fucked up. I'm not finna be put in this situation, whatever it was, okay? But now, whatever this situation is that they're in, they sit back and they think about you, okay? They think about the ending. They think about the way things went down because we have the Nine of Cups and the Tower. I feel like whatever happened within this situation, it was shocking. It was sudden. You might not even have known, like, they were even dealing with anybody else. Like, this might have just came, like, out of the blue. Like, damn, they have this whole other situation that they're dealing with, this whole whatever they and this person their life is chaotic and look at how this lightning bolt is here so it's definitely was a shock to somebody okay because then we have the tower it's almost like when you found out about this other re relationship or whatever this person had going on you know everything you was like nah it, you could have even blown up like you got me fucked up i'm seeing that shit that tower coming down But see, whatever situation they are over here, they're in over here with this karmic where they're wishing and hoping to be in a relationship with you, that shit's about to come crumbling down too because the tower's in the middle of the spread. So it's almost like, you know, that situation, it was built off a of faulty foundation in the first place. There's no love there. It's almost like it was based on this masculine or whoever you're dealing with using the other person, okay? It's almost like, you know... That's what this was based on. You see what I'm saying? It was never based on love, on truly helping each other out and building something together. It was based simply on manipulation and beating somebody, using them. Let, let's just say using them. Like, really, that's what it was. And, and what the karma and the irony is that this person really does love you. But it's almost like they wanted to treat the person that they truly love like the, the, like the, like the second person, like the option. Like, you guys can't go out. You can't have fun. Like, this other person that you don't even really give a fuck about is the one that gets all the benefits. No, that's not cool. But like I said, that situation, it was built off a of faulty ass foundation in the first place. So that shit, that's over with. You know, that's ending. But it's almost like somebody could feel like you could feel like they're just moving on. They're happy. You know, they ain't even thinking about this and they're not. <clears throat> this person is actually sad and miserable. You could have cut this person off. And that's why now they literally have to sit in that energy over there daydreaming, wishing to get you back into their energy. And this could be another reason why it's about to blow up over there. Like shit is about to blow up. It's about to hit the fan. And it's because this masculine is sitting back. He's thinking about nothing else but the wish fulfillment, which is you. And what's that? This passionate new beginning. I definitely feel like somebody has been cut off sexually. Okay, I definitely feel like you've cut this person off sexually. And they... um. They definitely are missing that, the passion that the two of you guys have. Sex is just not the same with anybody else. And, you know, that's really fucked up, though, because that was one of the issues. I'm not just a sexual object. Yeah, the pussy good. Yeah, this dick's good. But damn, I'm more than that. Damn. No, I'm just playing. But it's like, okay, but this is how they made you feel, though. You know, it almost felt like somebody's like, damn, that's all it is. You just acting like you care. But really, you know, you're just trying to get in my pants. But it's like this person really does want want this passionate new beginning with you their twin flame so i told you the spread gets better as it goes along that's that 11 11 that's like you know it's meant to be this is 
what they want is this happy home with you. But it's almost like the two of you guys are mirroring each other. It's almost like since you block them out, they're just like, okay, well, fuck it. Then I'm going to block them out. I'm going to pretend like I'm happy over here when they're truly not. And I feel like that's what's going to cause this blow up. But that sadness energy, I felt that earlier with that mirroring card, you know, I felt that like, it's like their sadness in the situation that they're in okay it's like you could be like nah i'm a tough i'm i'm a tough bitch man i don't be crying and shit you know unless you're a pisces or a cancer out there we understand okay but <laughs> nah i love my pisces and my cancers my twin flames of pisces and i have heavy cancer in my chart heavy leo heavy cancer baby so um I definitely feel like the, that that's that energy, though, where it's like they're extremely sad, but they're trying to pretend like they're not. They're trying to go through day-to-day -day life, you know, like, like and carry on. And I feel like it's because you cut them off, but they deserve to be cut off because if they're deciding to stay in, to chill, do this other thing and use somebody else for financial gain, then got, then I, I shouldn't have to sit around and wait or whatever and be on the back burner, put up on the shelf because what the fuck you crazy as hell. But now it's like, I feel like you've cut that off and now this person is very, very sad and they're thinking about you and they're wishing that they could have, have this back. Their life is chaotic. They're about to blow up and then it's like you're feeling this sadness like if you're one of them people that are like you know I, I i am leo cancer but it's like damn like it takes a lot to get me to cry and so if you're one of them people that are like damn i'm crying a little more than usual i don't know what what the fuck is wrong with me that's what it is it's like you're feeling their energy it's mirroring one another okay Let's just get some clarifiers, though, because I don't like these cards. You know, the devil and the tower, that's heavy karmic, heavy, heavy karmic relationship. And right in between it is this masculine wishing to get the fuck up out of it, <laughs> you know? Let's see, spirit, ancestors, and guys, for this energy here, for this energy that I'm just feeling, it's that bad energy, bruh. It's almost like an energy, though, where somebody just feels like somebody's just moving forward happily. Ooh, let's see. For this devil spirit. Can we clarify this devil right here, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Can we clarify this devil, please? Thank you. Judgment. Ooh-wee. Yeah, so... <laughs> Spirit's about to call judgment on this masculine. Like, he is about to definitely be facing karma for his devilish ass activities, for his devilish choices. If he wants to be in this devil ass karma, um, this devil ass energy, then guess what? Karma is going to bring you down through there. It's like you chose, it's like almost like greed or whatever. You know, you're choosing these worldly possessions over something that's deep a true soul connection and so spirit is now casting judgment on this person there's definitely about to be a major ending in this person's life this this karmic relationship this toxic relationship is definitely about to come to an end and what's crazy is i'm looking at these people rejoicing almost clapping and happy like you might be happy as fuck when this shit in, when that shit ends like see told you yeah, we got the Ten of Wands. So whoever this person is, their burden, their stress, it came out in reverse. So it's even, you know, they're extremely motherfucking stressed, extremely burdened, just thinking about giving the fuck up. And it's clarifying the Nine of Cups. So them sitting over here wishing that they can get out of this situation, dreaming about you, it's really stressed. Like, you got this person stressed, okay? They miss you. If they've been cut off sexually, they damn sure are motherfucking in their feelings. Got me in my feelings. Let's see what's going on with this tower spirit. King of Cups, King of Wands, Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. So the love and the passion are definitely there. And this is what's going to drive this person away from this other situation, okay? 
But the problem is this person is trying to be sneaky with this Seven of Swords. And that's also another card of like thievery. You know, somebody stealing, somebody taking from another situation. It's almost like this person wants to take from this other situation and bring it back to you. And then make you feel like, oh, like to show you like that's all it was. You know, I was just trying to show you, you know, but that's not going to make you feel good. Even though this person is in love with you, they're very passionate towards you. They could be arrogant, but they want to, it's like they, there's definitely going to be an ending and it's going to be this other person finding out that they're stealing from them. So this karmic is going to find out that this is divine masculine has stolen something from them. Okay. And what the thing is, this divine masculine is planning on stealing it and bringing it back to you so that it, to prove that their love and their passion was with you and that they were just using this other situation. This ace of wands, them trying to come back around. Eight of swords. Page of pentacles. Yeah, the, the thing is that they feel like they don't have enough to offer to have this passionate new beginning. So literally, this is what I just said. They're staying stuck and trapped in this situation because they don't have enough to offer. They're going to come for this passionate new beginning, right? Once they get what they can out of that other situation. See, they're coming back towards this way, right? They're coming back towards the king. So they're going to be stealing from that situation, coming back this way, trying to bring it to you because they feel like they ain't got enough to offer to make it work again. But I feel like, look, the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely, I feel like you love this person. You are stuck on this, an energy that's definitely stuck on this person. Your twin flame, you can't help it. Passionate new beginning coming in store. For this four of wands, the queen of cups. The king and queen of cups are out here. And the two of pentacles. Yeah, so life is definitely off balance completely. Okay, whoever this feminine energy, she's really trying to juggle everything she has going on in her life right now. Um, It's going to be a wow. Right under that is the devil too. Coming toward you fast as fuck. Okay. I feel like somebody could be in isolation, you know, pretending like everything is fine right now. But there's definitely a cycle that's closing out and happiness coming, okay? What's interesting to me is to clarify this 1111, this Four of Wands, is that the Queen and King of Cups came out. So, you know, that is definitely soulmate energy, counterpart energy. Two people that love each other quite a bit, right? But somebody definitely feels like somebody got their back turned on. Oh, I have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Shit, what the hell are you doing, Tiff? Okay, the King and Queen of Wands, Cups. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this Queen of Cups, she is very... She's going to be very... Her heart is very fragile right now. Her cup is very fragile. She's been hurt. So it's almost like, you know... Also, there could be a baby involved in this situation. That fish is sticking out on that, that king of cups to me. But, you know, that's what I have for you guys. I guess this is why this is sad right now. That energy is kind of sad because this person is choosing to stay stuck in, in this situation until they can get what they, am, what they can. But there's going to be, I, I don't feel like they are. They're going to come back to you with nothing because this other energy is going to find out that they're being used, you know, that they're being stolen from pretty much. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know until next time. Loves. Peace.